हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल जर्नी विथ विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक सोयल फर्टिलिटी एंड प्रोडक्टिविटी बिफोर प्रेजेंटेशन आई वुड लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस माय सेल्फ आई एम विजय कुमार श्रीवास्तव आई हैव डन एम एस एग्रीकल्चर विथ स्पेशलाइजेशन इनोनॉमी फ्रॉम जी बी पंत यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड टेक्नोलॉजी पंत नगर इन नाइनटीन नाइन्टी होप दिस प्रेजेंटेशन विल वेरी वेरी यूजफुल टू ऑल द कैंडिडेट्स हु आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर वेरियस एग्रीकल्चर कम्पिटेटिव एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स प्रोसीड टू द प्रेजेंटेशन Let's to study what is soil. Soil is defined as the thin layer of earth's crust made up of disintegrated and decomposed rocks, complex minerals compound, organic matter, water, air and living organisms like bacteria, fungi, insects, worms and serves as the natural medium of growth of plants. The concept of soil as a medium for plant growth is an ancient concept. and it dates back to at least the beginning of agriculture the concept emphasizes the soil's role in the growth of plants important aspects of the soil as a medium for plant growth are described as the role of the soil in supplying plant with growth factors second the development and distribution of roots in soil and third the movement of nutrients water and air to the root surfaces for absorption Now to study the functions of soil it can be described as providing encourage for plant growth and development it serves as a medium for water and air circulation soil acts as a reservoir for water and nutrients and provides a space for beneficial microorganisms now to study soil environment soil environment is one of the important factor which decides the growth and development of the crop Soil environment is categorized in three types: physical environment, chemical environment, and biological environment. Physical environment consists of morphology, structure, soil texture, water holding capacity, aeration, stress, and resistance. As chemical environment is concerned, it is dealing with nutrient availability, minerals, organic matter, pH, acidity, salinity, and sodicity of soils. now biological environment which is related to microorganisms in soil and microbial activities here we will study about soil fertility and soil productivity what is soil fertility this is the status or inherent capacity of the soil to supply nutrients to the plants in adequate amount and in suitable proportions according to modern usage soil fertility is the capacity of the soil to produce crops of economic value to maintain health of the soil without deterioration it is one of the factor of productivity and soil productivity this is the capacity of the soil to produce crops with a specific systems of management and is expressed in terms of yield all productive soils are fertile but all fertile soils need not be productive Here we have shown the picture which describes that improvement in soil fertility is resulting in increase in soil productivity. Soil fertility can be improved by addition of inorganic fertilizers and organic fertilizer in form of compost and other means. Improving the soil fertility by addition of inorganic and organic fertilizers is best management system for increasing fertility and less expensive way of increasing fertility. if soil fertility is increased ultimately it will result in improving soil productivity soil fertility is defined as the capacity of soil in its normal environment to support plant growth soil productivity is reflected in the growth of forest vegetation or the volume of organic matter produced on a site soil fertility and soil productivity appears to be synonymous word but in soil science these two terms bear different meanings soil fertility thus denotes the status of plant nutrients in the soil where is the soil productivity is the resultant of various factors influencing crop production a fertile soil contains an adequate supply of all the nutrients required for plant growth the full potential of crops is not realized if a shortage of nutrients occur at any time during the crop growth cycle a fertile soil is not necessarily a productive one soil fertility refers to the ability of soil 
टू सस्टेन एग्रीकल्चरल प्लांट ग्रोथ लाइक प्रोवाइडिंग प्लांट हैबिटेट एंड रिजल्ट इन सस्टेन्ड एंड कंसिस्टेंट इल्ड्स ऑफ हाई क्वालिटी नाउ विल स्टडी अबाउट प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फर्टाइल सॉइल्स इट कैन बी डिस्क्राइब्ड एज द एबिलिटी टू सप्लाई इसेंशियल प्लांट न्यूट्रिय एंड वाटर इन एडिकुएट अमाउंट एंड प्रोपर्सन्स फॉर प्लांट ग्रोथ एंड रिप्रोडक्शन द एबसेंस ऑफ टॉक्सिक सब्सटेंसेज विच में इनिबिट प्लांट ग्रोथ सफिशियंट सॉइल डेफ्थ फॉर एडिकुएट रूट ग्रोथ एंड वाटर रिटेंशन गुड इंटरनल ड्रेनेज एलोइंग सफिशियंट एरेशन फॉर ऑप्टिमल रूट ग्रोथ एल दो सम प्लांट सच एज राइस टोलरेंट वाटर लोगिंग कैपेसिटी देन टॉप सॉयल विथ सफिशियंट सॉयल ऑर्गेनिक मैटर फॉर हेल्दी सॉयल स्ट्रक्चर एंड सॉयल मॉइस्चर रिटेंशन सॉयल पी एच इन द रेंज ऑफ फाइव पॉइंट फाइव टू सेवन विच इज सुटेबल फॉर मोस्ट प्लांट्स बट सम प्रीफर और टॉलरेट मोर एसिड और एल्कलाइन कंडीशंस एडिकुएट कंसेंट्रेशन ऑफ इसेंशियल प्लांट न्यूट्रियट्स इन प्लांट अवेलेबल फॉर्म्स एंड प्रजेंस ऑफ ए रेंज ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिज्म दैट सपोर्ट प्लांट ग्रोथ तो दीज आर द स्पेसिफिक प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ फर्टाइल सॉइल्स नाउ विल स्टडी द फैक्टर्स गवर्निंग सॉइल फर्टिलिटी लाइक फर्स्ट वन इज पेरेंट मेटेरियल फर्टिलिटी ऑफ ए सॉयल डिपेंड्स ऑन द केमिकल कंपोजिशन ऑफ पेरेंट मेटेरियल फॉर विच इट डिराइव्ड सेकेंड टोपोग्राफी सॉयल्स ऑन द अपर स्लोप आर लेस फर्टाइल देन द सॉयल्स ऑन लोअर स्लोप बिकॉज हाई लीचिंग एंड इरोजन ऑन अपर स्लोप थर्ड इज क्लाइमेट इन ट्रॉपिकल क्लाइमेट डिकम्पोजिशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर इज फास्टर देन टेम्परेट क्लाइमेट दस सॉयल्स ऑफ ट्रॉपिकल रीजन्स आर लेस फर्टाइल वेन कंपेयर टू टेम्परेट रीजन्स देन फोर्थ इज डेफ्थ ऑफ सॉयल प्रोफाइल डीप सॉयल्स आर मोर फर्टाइल देन द सेलो सॉयल्स एंड द रूट्स आर स्प्रेड वेल इनफ इन डीप सॉयल्स देन द सेलो सॉयल्स देन फिफ्थ फिजिकल कंडीशंस ऑफ सॉयल द सॉयल टेक्स्चर एंड सॉयल स्ट्रक्चर इन्फ्लुएंस द सॉयल फर्टिलिटी देन सिक्स्थ आर्टिफिशियल फैक्टर्स आर देयर लाइक वाटर लॉगिंग क्रॉपिंग सिस्टम्स एंड टॉक्सिक केमिकल्स एंड पेस्टिसाइड इन द सॉयल नाउ टू स्टडी सम फैक्ट्स ऑफ सॉयल फर्टिलिटी फर्स्ट वन इट इज कंसिडर्ड एज एन इंडेक्स ऑफ अवेलेबल न्यूट्रिय टू प्लांट सेकेंड सॉइल फर्टिलिटी इज वन ऑफ द फैक्टर्स फॉर क्रॉप प्रोडक्शन एंड द अदर्स आर वाटर सप्लाई टू द प्लांट्स थर्ड सॉइल फर्टिलिटी कैन बी एनालाइज इन लैब फोर्थ सॉइल फर्टिलिटी इज द पोटेंशियल स्टेटस ऑफ द सॉयल टू प्रोड्यूस क्रॉप्स फिफ्थ सॉइल फर्टिलिटी डिपेंड्स अपॉन फिजिकल केमिकल एंड बायोलॉजिकल फैक्टर्स ऑफ सॉयल एंड सिक्स सॉइल फर्टिलिटी इज द फंक्शंस ऑफ अवेलेबल न्यूट्रिय ऑफ सॉयल where fertility represent the nutrient status of soil seventh soil fertility is an inherent property of soil eighth the fertility of a soil is same in all the climates and ninth all fertile soils are not productive now to study importance of soil fertility first one is biological soil fertility the capacity of organisms living in soil to contribute to the nutritional requirement of plants and foraging animals for productivity reproduction and quality while maintaining biological processes that contribute positively to the physical and chemical status of the soil second is chemical soil fertility the capacity of soil to provide a suitable chemical and nutritional environment for the plants and foraging animals for productivity reproduction and quality in a way that supports beneficial soil physical and biological processes including those involved in nutrient cycling then third is physical soil fertility the capacity of soil to provide physical conditions that support plant productivity reproduction and quality without leading to loss of soil structure or erosion and supporting soil biological and chemical processes now to study the components of soil fertility first one is soil depth which is determining the volume of soil accessible to the root system most arable crops prefer about 1 meter without any obstructing layer next is soil structure based on size distribution and aggregation of particles 
This determines the distribution of pore sizes, which is decisive for the supply of air and water to the roots. Next is content of nutrients with different degrees of availability. Then a storage capacity for soluble nutrients from the soil and fertilizers. Next is soil pH reaction, which is an indicator and regulator of chemical processes and equilibrium. Components of soil fertility picture shows the availability of nutrients at different soil pH and which is determining the importance of soil fertility. Then soil organic matter. It promotes soil structure improvement by plant residue and humic substances leading to higher water holding capacity, better soil aeration and protection of soil against erosion. The soil organic matter helps in keeping the nutrients in available forms and protecting them against losses. And again soil organic matter helps in nutrient mobilization from decomposed organic nutrient sources and mineral reserves like nitrogen, phosphorus, sulfur, zinc, etc. And soil organic matter also contributes in nutrient gain as a result of nitrogen fixation from the air. It influences promotion or retardation of growth through growth hormones. Now to study the relation between soil fertility and crop production. Soil fertility is a complex quality of soils that is closest to plant nutrient management. It is the component of overall soil productivity that deals with its available nutrients status and its ability to provide nutrients out of its own reserves and through external applications for crop production. It combines several soil properties like biological, chemical and physical properties, all of which affect directly or indirectly nutrient dynamics and availability. Soil fertility is a manageable soil property and its management is of utmost importance for optimizing crop nutrition on both a short term and a long term basis to achieve sustainable crop production. Now turn to a study about soil productivity. Soil productivity is the ability of a soil to support crop production determined by the entire spectrum of its physical, chemical and biological attributes. Soil fertility is only one aspect of soil productivity, but it is a very important one. For example, a soil may be very fertile, but produce only little vegetation because of a lack of water or unfavorable temperature. Even under suitable climatic conditions, soil vary in their capacity to create a suitable environment for plant roots. For the farmer, the decisive property of soil is their chemical fertility and physical condition which determines their potential to produce crops. Good natural or improved soil fertility is essential for successful cropping. It is the foundation on which all input-based high production systems can be built. Alluvial soils is the most productive soil in the world. It's found in many parts of India and other Asian countries. Soil productivity means the crop producing capacity of a soil which is measured in term of yield means biomass. Productivity is a very broad term and fertility is one of the factors that determines the crop yields. Soil, climate, pest, diseases, genetic potential of crops and mines management are the main factors governing land productivity as measured by the yield of crop. To be productive, soil must contain all the 13 essential nutrients required by the plants. The total quantity of nutrients is not only being sufficient but they should also be present in an easily available form and in balanced proportions. Over and above fertility, there are other factors deciding productivity. Now to study some facts about soil productivity. First, it is a broader term used to indicate crop yields. Second, soil productivity is the interaction of all the factors related to the crop production. Third, soil productivity can be assessed in the field under particular climatic conditions. Fourth, soil productivity is the resultant of various factors influencing soil management. Fifth, soil productivity depends upon location, fertility, physical conditions, etc. Sixth, soil 
productivity is the functions of soil fertility management and climate and soil productivity can be summation of soil fertility plus management practices and climatic factors and seventh soil productivity is not an inherent property of soil earth soil productivity differs according to the variations in climate and location and ninth all productive soils are certainly fertile soils here in this picture we have shown the relationship of soil productivity to soil degradation and soil conservation here we have described two factors soil degradation processes because of which there will be reduction in soil productivity and another soil conservation processes which is helping to improve the soil productivity under soil degradation process there are different processes like soil erosion nutrient runoff water logging capacity desertifications acidification compaction crusting of soils organic matter loss and salinization which are impacting on soil productivity and ultimately reducing the productivity and second under soil conservation processes like conservation tillage crop rotations improved drainage system crop residue management water conservation practices terracing contour farming balanced chemical fertilizers addition and use of organic fertilizers which are very very beneficial to improve the soil productivity now to study the characteristics of highly productive soils with high fertility status such soil will mobilize nutrients from the reserves and these soils will transform fertilizer nutrients into easily available forms it will store water soluble nutrients in easily available forms thus preventing leaching losses these highly productive soils with high fertility will offer the plants a balanced nutrient supply due to its self regulating system it will store and supply sufficient water and maintain good soil aeration for the oxygen requirements of roots and such soils will not fix nutrients and it will convert them into available form and improve crop use efficiency of nutrients and resources such as water and light and such soils will provide nutrients throughout the growing season and especially during critical peak periods of plant development as a conclusion regarding soil fertility and productivity for a soil to produce high yields it must be fertile for the crops grown it does not follow however that a fertile soil will produce high yields high yields or high soil productivity depends on optimum management systems many fertile soils exist in arid regions but within management systems that do not include irrigation these soils are unproductive for corn or rice soils are productive in terms of their ability to produce plants the concept of soil as a medium for plant growth views the soil as a material of fairly uniform composition this is entirely satisfactory when plants are grown in containers that contain a soil mix plant found in fields and forest however are growing in soils that are not uniform differences in the properties between top soil and sub soil layer affect water and nutrient absorption so this presentation was all about soil fertility and productivity hope this presentation will be very very useful to all of you now my presentation in share thank you very much i have given here my youtube channel details journey with vijay kumar srivastava having request please visit the channel subscribe it and provide your kind and valuable feedback for further improvements to be done in next presentations thank you